go grab a coffee or a glass of wine and maybe leave with a kitten in hand. That's the goal of Pounce Cat Cafe in downtown Charleston. To date, Pounce has helped more than 370 cats find homes, and they've only been open for seven months. I was completely shocked that that, that they've adopted that many, but I can see why, because if, if I could take one home right now, I would. That seems to be the popular opinion because cats and kittens are almost flying out the door. Compared to other cat cafes, we have the highest adoption rate in the whole country. All of the cats come from the Charleston Animal Society. And Pounce has become so successful that they have literally cleared out the cages in the shelter. Charleston Animal normally has to do free adoption events and things like that in the summer just because they're so overwhelmed with kittens. And because of us, they haven't had to do any free um, adoption events. So it's pretty exciting. <laughs> To bring people in the door, Pounce holds special events like Sunday Kitten Yoga, Friday Night Movies, and Feline and Design Paint Night. But the biggest seller? Letting the animals be themselves. They feel like this is their home, so they're acting like who they would at your house. And you're able to make a much better decision based on your family and what you really want. Um, it's just a really comfortable environment. I think that's why we've had such a high adoption rate is because people just have so much fun here and they fall in love and they can't leave without them. And come November, our neighbors to the south will have their feline fix. I never ever would have expected that it would have gone this quickly. We always wanted to open a second location, but we were just kind of like, the time is meow. Why not? Like, if we don't do it, then somebody else is going to. And we love Savannah so much that we were just kind of like, why not do it now? Pound says their cats have traveled across the country with tourists who fall in love with a cat and just have to bring it home. But the majority of their adoptions are actually from people right here in the local area. Stay with us. News 2 Today comes back right after the break.